Grand Theft Auto, a legendary name in the world of video games as each and every iteration of the franchise has upped the ante over the last and been an experience of its own. It's one franchise that you can rely on to deliver as the guys over at Rockstar Games always put the utmost amount of detail into their games and the insanely high budget allows them to do what they want to. Now GTA 5 came out on Xbox 360 and PS3 in late 2013 and just the past year it was upgraded and released on PS4 and Xbox One. The upgrades include things such as 1080p graphics, better draw distance, 30 player online matches, and the ability to play the entire game from a first person perspective. These upgrades made the game fun and fresh again even after playing the hell out of it on last gen consoles. If someone asked me if they should buy it again, I'd say yes every time. Now as I already stated in the intro, the developers of GTA 5 really get down to the nitty gritty details in their games which is what makes them feel so alive and realistic. The graphics were impressive on older consoles and the visual upgrades made it even better. Especially for an open world game, the graphics are unparalleled. Step right up, step right up. From the scraps of paper flying around to the white caps that fade in the ocean to the rain effects, it all brings the game to life. The audio is also top notch here as Rockstar leaves no detail untouched. The biggest thing is the amount of music they added beyond the older gen version of the game. I almost never hear the same song anymore on the in-game radio which is a good thing as there's enough of a variety of music and radio stations to choose from. The gun sounds, vehicle sounds, and other various sounds in the game all sound believable and paired with the way the character in-game moves with a sense of weight it makes you feel like you're the character while playing. The campaign mode, my god is it awesome. After playing through it multiple times between both versions of the game, I must say that the story, character presentation, and voiceovers make this one of the best criminal underworld action entertainment pieces of all time. Other GTA games look like a joke compared to the size and scope of the story here. Every bit of the game world was thought out and is varied as you traverse from city to the mountain suburbs and finally the outer country area. We never could have beaten that response. There's other it really allows the multiple characters in the game to feel like they each come from a different place and all have their own individual lifestyles. I keep coming back to the characters here because they are done so well, are memorable and believable, and make you care what happens to their well-being. All in all, the story in this game must be played by anyone who enjoys single-player games, and when you're done, there are plenty of cheats to keep you busy without having to jump online if you choose not to. Sweet. This is where the game really shines and shows what it's capable of. The varied amount of missions, races, and side activities in the online world with 29 other people is just so intense. You're always scheming to see who you can take out and who is after you so it creates a cat and mouse scenario while you free roam. Fortunately you can set yourself to passive mode which makes you somewhat invisible and stops you from shooting but always makes you immune to any attacks from other players. And don't forget that you can even rob in-game stores as well as go after money trucks for a nice chunk of change if you need some extra cash or if you're just feeling froggy. When you're done cruising around with others, you can quickly jump into a mission where you and up to three friends can co-op together with a few extra lives to spare to get the job done. There are also races with up to 30 people and they are always crazy fun with cars wrecking everywhere like it's a demo derby. There's other types of missions as well such as one game type that puts two teams against each other trying to capture a single object which creates for some intense explosion filled moments. The customization is also something to note here. First the character customization allows you to change every single detail about your character. You can change their face and skin color, their clothes and accessories like sunglasses and watches. You can even give them tattoos and change their hairstyle. I mean you can make whatever kind of person you want to represent in game. You can also customize your car in the same way, from headlights to bumpers, turbo tuning upgrades, new tires and more. There's even sub-customization of things such as tires. You can choose the color of the tire, what color smoke burns off the tires, and you can make them bulletproof and add a slick logo making the tires look brand name. You can choose where your character lives and you can own up to 3 properties and potentially have 30 different vehicles at your disposal which is just awesome. The amount of stuff you can do in the game is endless and will have you playing for hours on end. Now I also must note the negatives in GTA Online. 
While there are an insane amount of positives, the game often flutters and is sometimes unplayable. Even multiple months after release, the game sometimes backs you out of the online world, forcing you to wait another 5-10 to 10 minutes to log back in and hope you can even get into a mission. Another big issue is that the only time I've ever seen close to 30 players is in the free rowing portion of the game, and even then it's usually less than 25 people. But not once in a race have I played against more than 16 players total, which is very disappointing. Especially when Rockstar Games made well over a billion dollars on GTA 5 so far, with over 30 million in sales. But looking past the issues, the game is still worth playing, and I hope they fix these few things to make it truly breathtaking. To sum it up, buy this game. Whether that's on Xbox 360, PS4, PC, whatever, it will not disappoint you and has plenty of content to keep it fresh every time you play. They constantly add new missions, weapons, cars, and even do special events for the holidays like this Christmas where the game world was covered in snow which affected how you drive but also allowed you to make snowballs anywhere and have a deadly snowball fight with the other people in the game. I could go on and on about the things you can do in this game, telling you the best things to do first, or even telling you which game modes I enjoyed the most, but there's just not enough time for it all. Instead, just pick up the game as it's probably only $40 now, and just dive deep into the experience and you will understand why Grand Theft Auto is one of the most popular franchises in gaming history. The pros would have to be the massive game world, top-notch voice acting, and the new FPS mode. The cons are online instability, lack of 30 player matches, and lack of new content overall. With that being said, Grand Theft Auto 5 gets an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching this review. If you'd like updates when future reviews are released, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click that like button. And as always, never stop gaming.